we're better to see what truly goes into designing that type of equipment than here, Puma's global headquarters in Herzogenaurach, Germany. We came here to meet the company's global creative director, Thorsten Hochstetter, to find out more about his vision about the World Cup kits he designed and the technology within. He designed national kits for no less than eight partner teams competing in Brazil. Algeria, Switzerland, Uruguay, Ivory Coast, Ghana, Italy, Cameroon and Chile. And all feature new technologies that Puma calls power active. Thank you very much, Thorsten, for having us. We're actually now looking at the shirt football players at the World Cup right now are wearing. So what is special about that? Well, about this jersey, first of all, that's the Italian jersey that the Italian Federation will be wearing at the World Cup um, in the games. And uh, we made sure that the execution is right for the culture of the country. So particularly for Italy, it was important to have some sartorial aspects about the jersey, such as the color line, for example. But also the badges, you know, this is a high definition heat transfer, you know, are lightweight and are really performance executions. So do the national teams also have uh, a say in how their shirts are going to look like then? Absolutely. We work very closely uh, with the athletes, uh, but also with the federations, obviously. Um, and it's important to have that input and really get the feedback from the athlete right away. Last week, I was just coming back from Coverciano, which is the actual uh, uh, training facility for the Italian team. And I was talking to the athletes, to the coach, also to the medical stuff, and get feedback and how they really feel and, and, uh, and uh, to make sure that we would include that feedback into our designs. So let us have a look at that special technology here. How does it look from inside? Right, let's have a look at the inside. Now, the active technology, um, and as you can see here, is an atomically placed silicon print. And, um, and it's strategically placed on the item so that it really enhances the movement um, of the athlete uh, when doing the sports, when playing football actually, and particularly in this case. And does it have other effects like cooling or? It has the effect of cooling when you wear it, uh, when you first wear it. Um, but the, the main uh, idea behind uh, the active technology is to bring, back, bring together uh, the, um, the idea of compression so when the muscle fatigues, sets in, that it really compresses the muscle, but in the same time, it also has the support um, um, attributes uh, to the muscle and also to the athlete where it needs. So how long did it take to actually develop such a shirt? The technology uh, is more than two years. When we look at the technology, we make the first research. Uh, so about you know, uh, two to one and a half years uh, before it really uh, can come to life. And where do you take those ideas from? We look at the sports itself. We also look at the culture of the sports um, and then make sure that we're able, with the technologies, to support the athlete to really perform better. How much is technology really driving as well the success of a football team? What do you think? I think it's, it's, it's very important because the athlete wants to be supported from a technological perspective, from a physical perspective, but also emotionally. An athlete wants to go out and, and feel right in the jersey that he wears. So right now, this is the most technology advanced shirt we can get uh, for a football player. So looking into the future, could it happen that the regulator might step in if you're getting far more advanced and perhaps the shirt is more important than the player? <laughs> Well, we certainly will continue to explore technology and find new ways to help the athlete to perform better. But we do, by the way, have an um, uh, innovations team that takes care of that, and, and that is going to influence also the future. But in reality, you're looking at the future right now, because that technology, the active technology, is an award-winning technology that, uh, that is, is good for the athlete. Of course it's called football for a reason and the boots are arguably the most important weapon in a player's arsenal. So these shoes, why actually are they in two different colors? Well, that's a wonderful story because um, it was um, a Puma player, um, Rigobert Song, who was the captain of the Cameroon national team, who uh, at the World Cup in France uh, in 98 dare to walk out with two different color shoes and um, 
It was a clear statement, you know, his passion for his nation, but also the fun and joy that football expresses. And why did you choose pink and blue as colors? Well, we felt we wanted to sort of portray exactly that, you know, the passion, the joy and the fun that goes into football, and therefore we've picked these two colors. Run me through the technology which is hidden in those shoes. With these shoes, which is evil power technology, we wanted to explore barefoot kicking. And if we look at the tooling, it has um, a spine running through and a very high level of flexibility in both ways for the plate. So therefore, you really sort of mimic barefoot kicking, which um, optimizes power. But they nevertheless, they seem to be also uh, having a certain control here in that part of the shoe. That's right. There's a high level of stability yeah. um, on the lateral side. And the upper material is flexible in a horizontal way. And therefore, you know, this again sort of enables you to have a higher level of control or accuracy as well as power. What's really important is also the, um, the, the foam that's supplied um, at the vamp of the shoe um, and at the moment of impact it has a very good distribution of force and therefore the moment you strike you have a very high level of accuracy. It really gives the player an edge and again it helps the athlete to perform better. So from the professional athlete to the excited fan that just wants a piece of the team's magic, the science behind sport constantly propels everyone forward.